What you guys got another video here for you on how to display your internet speed on the taskbar inside Windows 10. Now the other day I did one where you can display your actual uh, temperatures for your CPU and GPU. Now inside Task Manager there is a Ethernet or Wi-Fi uh, type of speed graph here which can tell you exactly the amount of data that's being sent and received on that uh, network or on that even network card. Uh, because it will be on your Wi-Fi and also on your Ethernet, depending on what you're uh, monitoring. So let's take a look at how we can get that onto the taskbar. Now, unfortunately, you can't use the built-in Windows uh, graph here to get this onto the taskbar. It won't allow you to do it. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, until Microsoft release something that allows you to do this, you're going to have to obviously go into here and monitor it via that method. But if you want to get it down here, just like this CPU and GPU, I'll show you how to do it with a piece of software. And the software is free, and it's been out for quite a while. It's called NetSpeed Monitor. Uh, it's not really uh, been designed for Windows 10, but it does actually work when you run it in compatibility mode, which is okay to do. So hit the download now, and you can see 32-bit versions and 64-bit versions. I'm going to be downloading the 64-bit because that's what I'm running on Windows 10. So let's download the installation file. I will upload this to Virus Total because it's coming from uh, Softpedia uh, or you can get it from download.com or any one of those sites. But I always like to test just to make sure the software is safe to use. And even uh, my Norton 360 is telling me this file is safe to use. So you can see here on here, it comes up nice and clean. So let's go ahead and get this to install on the system. Now, if you try to install it straight away, you'll get a compatibility error, and that's because it wasn't really designed for Windows 10, even though it does work in Windows 10. So you can see here it was designed for XP, Windows Server 2003, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. So to get this to run inside Windows 10, we're going to need to make sure it runs in compat compatibility mode by right-clicking on the file that we downloaded, go to Properties, and go to Compatibility. And once we go in here, you can see here it says compat compatibility mode. Run this program in compatibility mode for the previous version of Windows. Click apply and then click OK. And then you should be able to install this no problem at all. Now the program works perfectly fine uh, in compatibility mode. There's no problem at all. So click next. Uh, you will see a donate button there for the software. Uh, click on accept the license agreement here. Click next and click next again, click install, and just let the program install, click finish. And now once we've done that, we can go to our Explorer button here, and we're gonna basically start the installation from there to start, start it up because it's not started yet. So we need to go down into our this PC, go C drive, and then into program files here. Now if you're using a 32-bit version, it will be in x86, look for the uh, software which we installed, which is NetSpeed Monitor, and you'll see an execution file here. Click on this one, and once we do this, it will ask us uh, down the bottom. Sometimes it goes down the bottom where you can't see it. Just click on this, and it will basically show up here saying, do you want to uh, add the NetSpeed Monitor to the toolbar or taskbar on Windows 10? This will open up this little box here, which allows you to do the setup. You can select your language from this area here. Also select your network interface. And again, depending on what network interface you're using, and this will also allow you to do traffic logging as well. So if you're having a little bit of an issue there, it'll also uh, do some traffic logging for you and put it into a data.db uh, file inside the roaming folder there. You can disable this bit if you want to. I'm going to disable it on this machine because I don't need that right now. So I'm just going to use the actual visual monitor on the taskbar. So if we see down the bottom right hand side, now you should see a nice handy little uh, monitor system here. Now also it does a little bubble that pops up when you hover over it. You can toggle that off if you want to, or you can leave it on. It's entirely up to you. You can do some more configuration here, like changing the font and changing the sort of theme to it. So let's go ahead and right click on this and go into uh, the configurations you can see here monitoring on or off you can turn this on and off uh, to your own requirements 
So inside the general area here, you can see your network interface. This will be where all your network cards are. So if you're on virtual uh, VMware or something like that, you can select this and uh, push the refresh here. Turn monitoring on. You can also change the bit rate here to something uh, more recognizable to you. If you want to change that, you can do, depending on what you want to set it to. So let me just go ahead and set mine up. I'm going to put this to MB space forward slash S. And also you've got precision here. I'm going to leave that as is, language as is. I can click on apply and that will now set those settings that I've done there. Now, if you want to change the font or make it bold, you can do by going into layout and you can change the font here. You can change the size of it and you can also make it bold or whatever it is you want to set yours to. Uh, it does have some other features there, uh, like database. So let me just go back into there. There we go. So let me just make this a little bit bigger here. I'm going to make this probably around about nine. There we go. And also add the bold feature on there as well. You've got glow size. And you can have it on the horizontal or vertical mode. You can go into the settings, which is for your database and the enable tool tip. If you want to disable that, you can disable that there. Click apply and you should now see it nice and bold down the bottom. So let's do a quick test here to see uh, how it works here. I'm going to go ahead and start to uh, download a large file here. And we should now see, once I start this off, we should see the download area will start to go very high because we're downloading a large file. And depending on the speed of the server and how fast that file is coming down, will uh, be notified down there on the download section. We can also run a speed test on this uh, system just to show us the download and upload speed because obviously that will register your download and upload speeds on there as well. So let's go ahead and quickly run this so we can see what happens there. So you can see now the download speed is starting to show up. And when it does the upload speed, it will also uh, show the upload speed as well going up when you're using it. There we go. It's that simple. So that's quite useful for someone who wants to have a visual uh, look at what their internet speed is. If you're on a, say, maybe a metered connection or some sort of restricted internet connection, you can actually see what sort of speed you're getting there on, on that particular type of graph there. So very useful indeed. Anyway, I'll leave all the links in the video description. Uh, thanks to all the people that have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And uh, I shall see you again for another video real soon. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Have a great day, guys. And thanks again for your continued support. Bye for now.